another day, another opportunity to draw. So let's take advantage. What do you think? I think so. For the next 20 minutes, just draw whatever you want. Could be something new, could be something that you are already working on. And try to just draw. Just do that. Use whatever materials you'd like. Work in any way that you want. But just draw. Other things will emerge, of course. You will have judgments, thoughts, worries, insecurities. Mixed in there, if you're lucky, you may have some joys, some ecstasies. All of these things, simply let them arise and then fall away. Even if that's not how you'd like to interact with them in perpetuity, try it just for these 20 minutes. Tell yourself that after these 20 minutes, you can take every spontaneous criticism that arises very seriously. After these 20 minutes, you can really cling to every bit of joy and ecstasy that might come up. After these 20 minutes, you can attend to every little distraction dutifully. If an email pops up that really requires your attention, you can abandon your drawing and answer it. If an Instagram notification pops up, you can quickly open the app and look at whatever the hell it was. But for these 20 minutes, be undistractable. Even if it's one of those things that suddenly pops to mind and you realize it was, oh, it was supposed to be on your to-do list. Oh, and I'd already forgotten. I mean, I only just remembered. I'd better just open up my phone really quick and just put it on my to-do list before I forget again. Even if it's one of those, oh, so sensible. Oh, that makes sense. So sensible. Even if it's one of those Oh, so reasonable little distractions. Commit yourself here at the beginning to not following through on the impulse. Just let it arise, this uninvited, random thought, And like a crazy person, don't do anything about it.
If you find yourself uncomfortable in moments of silence, just let that discomfort arise and then fall away on its own. Judgments are the same. They arise and they fall away. I would say that the judgments are real, that they are data, information. They are your important inner critic, that you should do something about them. Usually giving up and stopping drawing are most people's reaction to those judgments. Maybe you agree with that conventional narrative. Maybe you do think it is important to react to them and to act based on them. Far be it from me to convince you otherwise. But what if for just these few minutes, we forego the conventional narrative? And like a crazy person, like a very, very strange person, what if we choose to think these spontaneous judgments are just not a big deal and instead, weirdly, continue to peacefully sit and do the thing that we know we really want to do. Just try it on. You have the rest of the day to be hard on yourself. As you continue to draw without judgment, just ask yourself, where is your drawing? Is it on the paper? Is it on the screen? Is it in your hand? Is it in your mind? 
Is it in multiple places? Could it be? Is it only in one place? Does it need to only be in one place? There's no correct answer. Just inquire, where is the drawing? Where is the experience of the drawing? Where is the substance of the drawing? How does the piece interact with the process of making the piece? How is the process experienced? Is the process experienced in the mind? Investigate. What could it mean for there to be a experience of a process of creation? Is there an inside? Is there an outside? Where does the inside part of the process begin? Where does it end? Where does the outside part of the process begin? Where does it end? Where does the drawing stop existing in your mind and start existing? on the paper. What is the boundary line? Can you draw that line? Where is the inside? Where is the outside? Can you seek that boundary? with the tip of your pencil. Can you try to feel your way into it? With the movements of your fingers.
Where is the inside? Where is the outside? Just allow the process to flow through you. There is a mystery behind you. There is a mystery ahead of you. Don't try to solve it. Just let it happen. There is no need to hunt for correct answers. You don't need to understand everything that's happening perfectly or at all, really. You just need to be able to abide in a certain degree of confusion, of unknowing. Get used to being comfortable in that space. And just letting what is going to occur, occur. Okay. Thank you for drawing today.